the original Call of Duty. Warzone had its fair share of events, but one stood out above all others. The hunting excelled for a number of reasons, from its horror movie crossover skins to a first-run nightly version of Verdansk. It also shook up the gameplay through different modes and features like crates causing jumps or the hugely popular Zombie Royale. Given its popularity, it makes sense to bring it back for Call of Duty. Warzone 2 and DMZ in particular could be doing bold things with the concept, the DMZ mode in Call of Duty. Warzone 2 may only be in beta which means that there are still some issues to work on and some aspects to refine, but it is proving to be popular with many players. While DMZ has quickly become a staple of some gamers' daily routines, players have been able to browse all of its content sooner rather than later. Fortunately, its PF style makes it the best possible playground for haunting content, which means new gameplay additions could appear later next year. Why DMZ should be the main mode affected by the haunting? When creating content for the original version of the haunting, the many developers behind Call of Duty, Warzone probably had to be careful about what was included. While the spawns appearing on the map and spooky noises were harmless, many players certainly wouldn't be on board with AI opponents or other intrusive content. However, with DMZ there is less need to maintain a basic formula as the games are not serious competitions with only live players. With the AI already existing in DMZ, there would be the freedom to offer some over-the-top and terrifying encounters for the haunting of Almazra. For example, a previously depicted assassin such as Ghostface or Leatherface can be dropped into the play area, lurking randomly in one of the towns or some houses in the corner of the map. If players are unfortunate enough to encounter them, they can be pursued and possibly killed although defeating an AI-controlled serial killer can lead to large loot. Aside from the AI-controlled enemies that look a lot like the Krampus from Call of Duty, Vanguard's Warzone series, a contract inspired by the Saw movies could be introduced. With the series already featuring content from the franchise, the Jigsaw Killer puppet can appear on screen and guide players through an obstacle course designed to harm them. Players could even be taken to a separate location like the Gulag for this purpose. And once the contract is completed, players could receive more special items and rewards before returning to the main map. Adding ghosts and zombies would be another viable option for DMZ since players are already fighting the AI in co-op anyway. As such, these enemy types would just add some variety while still staying on the main theme, which is a huge plus. While zombies proved controversial in regular Warzone as they began to spread across the map, removing PP zones and interfering with the traditional gameplay loop, they would be an acclaimed addition to a mode that already featured elements of important AIs. Call of Duty Warzone 2 Almazra map could obviously get spooky additions like pumpkins, skeletons, and a nighttime theme, but it's content that could easily be present in traditional Battle Royale playlists as well. For DMZ in particular, there's room to go all in with AI enemies and unique contracts. So hopefully there'll be a big strain on DM's Halloween-inspired content when another haunting release takes place in 2023. Call of Duty Warzone 2 is available now on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series 10. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.